As the university marks 100 years of existence, the late Buganda Premier Martin Luther Nsibirwa is enmarched as an icon of education sacrifice. The Katikirawa claimed the late Nsibirwa as a hero and a brave man who anchored the expansion of Makerere College, later Makerere University, against fierce opposition. We are here in large part because of the wisdom, determination and foresightedness of great men and women such as Martin Luther and Sibirwa, and it is fitting that we should celebrate them. Here, he urged leaders to emulate in Sibirwa on constructive decision-making. Leadership, in its proper form, should concentrate on delivering results. Leaders who are properly oriented should seek to be judged on the things that they have done for the people, and not simply on, the, on how many promises they can make. The university land in different areas is in dispute. The Katikiro vow to ensure the university retains its land. How could someone have a title over Makerere's 300 acres? How does that happen? I hear them in Katanga and everywhere. They are in court every day. They've spent, I don't know, billions of shillings protecting university land. How did this happen in the land office? The late Katikiro Martin Luther Nsibirwa had to enact a law to acquire private land by government to expand Makerere College School, which later expanded to Makerere University, matters he attributes to his death. His daughter Rhoda Nsibirwa Kalema loaded his late father. And Katikiro Uganda was the only authority who concerned this clause for government to own the land. Ms. Uwa had not closed to Mulago Hospital. This I remember well. And when the government wanted to build the nurses' hostel, he allowed the exchange of his land. Martin Luther Nsibirwa was born in 1883. In 1945, he was assassinated at Namirembe. Adams Mayambala, CTV, PM Edition.